Until now, our application has been limited to a single view, the listing of movies. And although we made it dynamic with the form and user interactions, most single page applications will contain more than one view. In Movie Mania, for example, you'd expect a single movie view and maybe a playlist view or something similar. So we need routing between those views. Angular has a built-in module for this called ng-route. In this section, we will see how to use ng-route to declare routes and how to create links, both using anchor tags and using JavaScript-driven routing. Let's start by making sure that ng-route is available in our application in this video. When generating our basic code using Yeoman, we are given a choice of components that we wish to include in the app. So when the question comes up about components to install, make sure to highlight Angular Route, and ng Route will be available to your application. If you have your own project, or if you have not included Angular Route during bootstrapping, you can always either use Bower to Bower install Angular Route, so in a terminal type Bower install angular-route, or simply include it into your index.html from a CDN. Watch out though that your Angular route module version must match your Angular version. So if you're using Angular 1.3.13, you would power install Angular route hash 1.3.13 and then use dash dash save uh, so that it gets saved to the list of dependencies in the power file. And as a last check, always make sure that the script is included in your index.html. If you use Bower, this will be done for you automatically, but just have a quick check on your index.html. The last part of ensuring that we are using ng-route is to add that module as a dependency to the application. Dependencies are declared when we declare the app, so let's open app.js. That is where the app is declared using angular.module. And the second argument is the list of dependencies. So make sure that ng-route is part of that array. If you included ng-route during bootstrapping via Yeoman, this is already in place. Since including ng-route can be quite easily broken if one part is missing, and it can be a source of frustration, I've just compiled here on this slide uh, the three most common types of errors that you might see on your browser related to ng-route. So please refer to it if you face any issue at this stage. In the previous sections, each time after bootstrapping, we removed the div that said div ng-view, and I mentioned during the videos that we would use this for routing purposes. So let's use it now. NGView basically represents the dynamic version of the site, the part that changes on each route. Typically in an application, you would have a header and a footer, which do not change when we go to different routes, and a main content that does change. NGView is the container for that route-dependent part of the content. So now instead of writing our HTML into index.html as we have done previously for the movies listing view, we will now leave the div ng-view equals an empty string, and we will let ng-route fill up that div according to the current URL. We will more or less not work in index.html at all anymore. All right, back to app.js where we define the application. This is also where Yeoman automatically defines the first few routes. It is not compulsory to define them here, but it is convenient. If your app grows much larger, you could define routes in a separate file. So how are routes defined? Well, you can see here that we call a config function and we request an object called dollar route provider. Similar to dollar scope for controllers, this is handled via dependency injection, but just consider it as a form of import. Route provider will help us configure the routes that are available. It has two methods, when and otherwise. When needs to be called for each route we wish to define. 
The otherwise method obviously tells the router what to do if the current URL does not match any of the patterns above. And in our case, it simply redirects to slash the root of our application. Each of the calls to the when method takes two parameters, the route path and the definition of the corresponding route. Let's look at the first route slash, which means we are defining what happens when the URL is at the root. The definition of the route is an object with several properties. What you will mostly need at this stage is a controller, which is the name of the controller used for this view, and template, which is the path to the template file relative to the index.html file. Here we are using view slash main.html. So let's have a look inside the views folder and find the main.html file. And this is where your actual HTML will now reside for this particular view. Note that in this file, we do not define the controller as an ng-controller attribute on the top div element, because when using ng-route, the ng-view directive takes care of instantiating the controller according to the name you gave in the route definition. And if you add it here once more, you'll get two calls to that controller. So let's look again at app.js and Yoman has declared another URL, which is the about URL. You can see it is very similar and defines what will happen when we navigate to slash about. So here we have defined two routes, one for the main view and one for the about view, each pointing to their respective template and using its own controller. Let's learn how to quickly define new routes in the next video.